Hi, this is Rob. I'm just chilling out by the pool and uh, relaxing on a hot, humid day in uh, Pennsylvania in June. It is uh, probably 70 degrees, and I'm not talking to you about the weather today. I wanted to talk to you about personalizing your website by using video. And whether you have a personal website, a business website, it, it really doesn't matter what kind of website you have personal video content is going to get people to have more empathy for you, to relate to you and what you do. And, uh, you know, putting videos on a website can really help people to connect. I mean, people sometimes will read and they'll sometimes look at pictures you put up, but video, it's something they don't have to work so hard to do, so you reach more people. And a thing that is really important when you're making a video is what is the purpose of your video? Are you trying to sell something to somebody? Are you just trying to make a nice conversation? You're just communicating the situations. It's your blog, so you want to tell your mom or your sister how you're doing and what's going on in your life. And uh, the second thing is how long a video you want. And you have to target this to what sort of content you have and what sort of audience you have. Your mom might sit through a 20 minute video and uh, somebody who's visiting your site who doesn't know you from anybody else on the face of the planet might not sit through two minutes of video unless you have really good content and you're really teaching something. So, you know, the thing that I emphasize when I do my videos is if I'm making some sort of sales pitch for a product, I make sure that I give some really good, useful content with that. And if I am making a personal video, I try to stick to the point and not ramble too much off topic. I end up talking about the weather or the noise or the beautiful sounds that the birds are making, depending how you're looking at it and what your day's like. We're talking about traffic as cars go by and whatever. Try to stay focused. Do you understand me? Oh, wait a second. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Video. Focus. So, uh, there are my points. Uh, try to keep videos relatively short unless you have a lot of good quality content or you're trying to communicate with your mom. And, uh, you know, you can read the article that's located up there. Or you can listen to this. You get two slightly different versions of the same thing because uh, one thing I've always believed in is that when I do videos, I don't really rehearse them, I don't script them, I just, uh, you know, speak what's on my mind. If I don't know the subject matter well enough that I need a script, you know, maybe I'm not the one who should be making that video. So, you know, try to be real, be authentic, be yourself. That's who people want to meet, that's who people want to see, unless you're, uh, unless you're a jerk. Then try to be somebody else. But generally, and most people aren't jerks, try to be yourself and be personable and people will appreciate that.